Hey, before going to the shadow law section, let us have a quick look at the altitude and azimuth angles. Suppose we have a module like this, where the shadow loss is maximum at the lower edge of the module, and we have a building which casts shadow on this module. And uh, if you look at this side, I mean, uh, actually the sun rises, and as the sun rises during the day, altitude angle goes high. And until the altitude angle reaches this point, the sun reaches this point, there is no direct sunlight falling on the module. It's only the reflected beams. So uh, we need to find this altitude angle above which the module will actually receive the direct beam. So if you look at this diagram, this will give you an angle, which is basically the altitude angle here. Now we'll take a look at the azimuth angle. Suppose we have a module like this and a building casting shadow on this module. Uh, we can have two types of configurations. Either the module has an azimuth angle, I mean, uh, it is at an angle to the south pole. Suppose you look at this, this is the line joining the module in north and south axis. And this makes exactly 90 degree with the um, south pole. But the building casting shadow on the module actually makes an angle. So this allows you to find two different angles, theta 1 and theta 2. We'll see why we find theta 1, theta 2 and this altitude angle. For each and every location, you can generate a graph like this. So what this basically means is the altitude angle and azimuth angle for the entire year. Um, they have taken one particular day in a, in a month and then they have generated this azimuth and altitude angle for the entire day from sunset to sunrise, sorry, from sunrise to sunset basically. Um, if you look at this, you have just 7 lines, I mean 1 to 7. So the 7th one being the December 22nd, where the sun is at the lowest point in sky. And uh, 1 being uh, 22nd June, where the sun is at the highest point. And you have months in pair. So why is this? Um, take a look at this um, graph, graph over here. So this is the declination angle graph. If you look at this point, the declination angle is the maximum at 23.45 degree. So at this point, this is this is exactly in June 21st or 22nd, where the sun is at the highest point in the sun, sorry, in the sky. And you have a longest day. I mean, the time between sunrise and sunset is maximum at this day. And you have the winter solstice, where um, it is in uh, December 21st or 22nd where you have the shortest day and sun is at the lowest point in the sky and these two days september 21st and march 21st um, exactly have same number of hours from sunrise to sunset and the uh, sun's position in the sky is also same like at, in, at any time suppose say six o'clock in the morning uh, if the altitude angle is 30 degree in uh, september 21st it will be the same in march 21st too you can see this april and august is a pair and may and July is a pair and June is a separate one and in the same case February and October is a pair and November and Jan January is a pair that's why you can have uh, you can see the configuration here so why do we use this diagram this chart so by using this you can actually find the area which will be shaded I mean um, the time for which the particular module will be shaded because of the surrounding objects um, I'll show you a small uh, layout and pvcs after that we can come to this picture again um, one second. yep um this is the layout i was talking about you have a building here and then you have a module here so what happens is this building actually casts some shadow on this module and this module is facing exactly south side but the building's face is not exactly facing the south side it is at an angle towards uh, south so we have an azimuth angle here uh, what is the azimuth angle so we have azimuth angle of 35 degree so i'm just running the simulation
to the graph. So this is the graph we actually see there. So what this okay, go to the PDF. Yeah. So if you look at the loss, this is the actual loss cast by the building on the module. So what this means, you take this point, line actually comes like this and goes here. So this this part, I mean if you look at this, suppose take December 22nd, so it will be this line, line number 7. At, six, at 7 o'clock, this dotted line is over here, so it means at 7 o'clock, your module will be shaded by the building in front of it. At 8 o'clock, it will be shaded, 9, yes, and at 10 o'clock, it will start receiving direct beam and then it continues till sunset and then it, this is this is just for one percentage loss the actual shading loss cast by the building if it's maximum suppose say 40 percent loss so even if the shading loss is maximum so what happens this will be the outer line here so at seven o'clock even during um i mean this is june and this is june and july what is four four is March and September it is not March to September it's March and September so March what happens um, at 6 o'clock it actually receives some radiation and then 7 it receives some at 8 o'clock it again goes inside this is because of the as azimuth angle and then at 9 o'clock it again opens up so from 9 till sunset yeah, the module actually receives a direct beam So we know how to find the altitude and azimuth angle from this diagram basically. So this angle will give you the altitude angle and this diagram should give you the azimuth angle. Suppose you want to find for one particular day, if you are not using PVCs and if you want to find for one particular day, the best advice would be to find it for December 22nd because that is the day when you will have maximum shadow because of the lowest height of sun imagine if we get a loss percentage of uh, say 5 percentage on that particular day on any other day in the year the, the your loss will be less than 5 percentage so it's better to simulate something for the worst case here the worst case is december 22nd and uh, I, I just took a small uh, i mean i just took an example value i, I didn't calculate it for any place what I did is like I had a building imagine I had a building and uh, theta 1 and theta 2 are um, 60 degrees and uh, the altitude angle is 30 degrees so what I happens is I superimpose this value altitude angle is 30 degree and azimuth is between minus 60 to 60 on this chart so what this tells me so I get a diagram like this so what happened this part and this part so this basically means I'll have some of my module or my entire region of the module shaded at this time. What this time means? So here if you look at it, the 12 hour line actually goes like this and takes a U-turn and comes back. Why is it? This is because this is solar time and this is not legal time. So what is the difference between solar time and legal time? Legal time is what we see like if someone, whatever time we follow, suppose say our watch, that gives us a legal time. And what is solar time? Solar time, the difference between the solar time and legal time is, suppose, solar time is the one at which the sun reaches its maximum height. So according to sun, like it thinks like it reaches maximum at 12, according to sun. But if we, if we look at our time, it won't be exactly 12. It might be 12, 5 or even 12, 1. So that difference is the difference between legal time and solar time. So this one is based on legal time. If we had followed solar time, we will find only one line like this and one line like this. So now we have two. So we should know which one to follow. So the best one would be, suppose, take for example, line number 2. 22nd May and 23rd Ju July. So the line starts like this and we like sorry if you look at the arrow it goes like this so starts here and goes back like this so this one 
will be 22nd May and this will be 23rd July. So now coming back to the shadows. If you look at it, um, say for example, 7. 7 is 22nd December, the shortest day in the year. So up to 9 o'clock, it is exactly, I mean, uh, the building actually casts shadow on the module. And it opens up only at 10 o'clock and then it receives radiation till 3 o'clock I mean um, sometime before they say 2.45 and then after that it's again shadowed if you look for 6 what is 6 it is either 19th Jan or 22nd November so it is not exactly same but it's it's better what say at 19th Jan this is a line so it starts receiving radiation at around uh, 9.45 and then it receives till uh, um, I can see the number here it might be 14 uh, yeah 14 the like 245 so that is how you read the shadow diagram